Have you ever thought of book covers beyond the usual judging the book by its cover? If not, then this video may make you think again. Hi there, I'm Manpreet. I make book related videos on this channel. If you like books, make sure you subscribe, follow me on my social media and turn your notification on by hitting that bell button so that you get notified every time I post a new video. This video is in association with the best-selling author Kevin Missel who is coming up with the second book in his best-selling series, Kalki. The much-awaited second book in the series is now available for pre-orders. Check the link in the description. And before we start with this video, I would like to show you the book cover of the second book and, you know, with this little trailer that you need to watch now. down below right now. Now without further ado, let's discuss some amazing facts about book covers. The biggest question of the century, who decides the book covers? Contrary to what a lot of people think, the author actually has little to do with the book covers, which may be the reason why some book covers make no sense. The book covers are usually commissioned by the publisher and it's the sales and marketing team of the publisher that associates with the designer and comes up with the book cover. Of course, now that the self-publishing is really popular, the authors actually pick their book covers themselves and honestly, a lot of the authors actually pick the free book covers from Canva, which is why many self-published books come with boring and quite familiar covers, I would say. <laughs> Yet, there are exceptions. For example, Kalki Book 1 by Kevin Missel was self-published by the author and he hired a professional designer to design the cover of this book, which, by the way, is also the designer of the cover of Sita Warrior of Mithila by Amish Tripathi. Can you give a random guess to me on what was the cost of this cover according to you? It was actually 60,000 rupees. The second book cover that you just saw in the trailer has also some inputs from the author, even though the book is now being published by Fingerprint Publishing and most of the cover is actually decided by the publisher, the text and placement, but the author does have a big role in designing and in figuring out how the design would actually look like. And this cover costed about 70,000 rupees to the author. You must be wondering why more this time? Well, last time the author didn't have to pay the GST. Number two thing about different names on the cover. Now, when a lot of people read Harry Potter series, people have this confusion. Is the first book Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone or Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone? So originally the book was published as Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in UK. But when the book was set to be published in the US, the publishers thought that, you know, US people might think this is a spiritual novel or something. So they changed the name to the Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone for that. And a lot of such changes happen on book covers many a times. This is just one that we know because Harry Potter is so popular. Number three, book covers are really important, guys. Even when you think that you do not judge the book by its cover, you still subconsciously judge the book by its cover. <laughs> Human mind subconsciously makes perception about what the story might be like or what to expect from the book. And that is something that is not in your control. So you do that. That is why book covers are more important than you think. And at times, the authors actually give you quite a lot of hints. Sometimes those are spoilers, but sometimes those are hints. For example, Kalki book 2 cover has Kalki fighting in the forest of Dandak with the Vanas. But the thing in question is, why is he fighting with the Vanas? So maybe in the author's mind, that scene would generate curiosity in the people's mind and make them pick the book faster. And let's see if that would be true or not. Number four, a lot of people think that online sales are reducing the importance of book covers. See, before the online era, the book covers had this book as artifacts value that really affected the sales. But now that it's online, people are more worried about the reviews or how many people have bought the book or word of mouth or discounts rather than what the book looks like. But there are many people who argue that it is totally not true because in the end, if you buy the book online, you still have to read it. And if the cover is bad, there are very less chances that you will actually end up reading it. 
Number five, film tie-in editions. Something which all of us hate. Something which I have seen in the comments all the time. Like, why did they come up with this cover? Why did they remove those minimalist and amazing and cold and beautiful Twilight cover designs and put the actors of the movie on the book? Why did they change the Fifty Shades cover designs and put the actors of the movie on the book? Or with the Percy Jackson series, why do they do that? As readers, as people who read the book first and then watch the movie, you might not like those covers. You might just not connect with those covers. But these tie-in editions are actually for the audience that is going to come and pick up the book after watching the movie. And that is why those covers are important to get that audience. So you have to just think about the author this time and not be so selfish because the author needs to sell more copies and the movie tie-in editions help do that help sell the books to the people who would generally not read the books or who would not have read the books if not for the movie so don't be mad about them guys those covers are just not for you and there you go guys these are five amazing book cover facts that i wanted to tell you about and honestly guys it took me a lot of time to find these facts there are not many people talking about book covers so if you know some book cover facts let me know in the comments down below. Do not just tell me that list of famous book covers. I have come across that list like 20 times while doing my research. Not that. But any other book cover facts that you know about, let me know in the comments down below. And this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, make sure you hit a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And also, comment down below. Comment down below and talk to me. I'm bored. I need to talk to you guys. You are my only family and friends out there. Okay? So talk to me right now. And this is Manvi signing off. I'll be back with another video very soon.